Hello friends, welcome back to my channel 15 minutes inspirations. Today we are going through a summary of another great book Corporate Sharakya by Radhakrishna Pillai. Let us see a brief about the author Radhakrishna Pillai. He is a well-known management speaker, trainer, author, and consultant. He received the prestigious Sardar Patel International Award 2009 for his research and contribution in the field of management and industrial development. He is the founder-director of the Sharakya Institute of Public Leadership, CIPL, Mumbai University. We now summarize what the book is all about. Sharakya, who was traditionally known as Viju Gupta and Kautilya, was an ancient Indian teacher philosopher, economist, jurist and royal advisor of Chadragupta Maurya, founder of Maurya Empire in ancient India. He authored the book Arthur Shastra between 2nd and 3rd BC which translated to the science of politics. The book talks about collective ethics to identify leaders and groom them to govern a country. This book contains 6,000 sutras. In the book Corporate Sharakya, Successful Management The Sharakya Way The author Radhakrishna Pillai simplifies the age-old formula of success for leaders of the corporate world. We will learn how to deal with tricky situations, manage time, make a decision, role, and powers of a leader. This is a book that brings back ancient Indian management wisdom in a modern format. Radhakrishna Pillai attempts to correlate various verses, sutras, from Arthur Shastra with modern management. For example, the author relates the quotes from Arthur Shastra, the leader or king, should favor those contented, with additional wealth and honor. He should please with gifts and conciliation, those who are discontented, in order to make them contented too. Management employees stopping attrition create your own culture, break all the rules. Let your organization be the one where everyone feels proud to work, followed by tips to stop attrition. The Western way of management has been the daily guidebook for management professionals. The author provides new food for thoughts in bringing the change in an Eastern way. Driven by his dedication to the Shamaya mission, he seeks to present Sharakya as an expert on modern management. The author has made enough efforts in meticulously selecting from the 6,000 sutras and thereby giving readers an opportunity to understand Sharakya E.T. in a most practical and relevant way. We will see how the author correlates the ancient sutras into modern management concepts. We have summarized those 20 concepts from the book for you. The first concept is, selecting the right managers or leader or a king. Selection is very important for the successful functioning and growth of an organization. These are the parameters given in the Arthashastra, for the selection of an experienced manager, one must test him or her on the below. 1. Technical competence. 2. Intelligence to understand any problem. 3. Being a people's man getting work done from the right people. 4. Friendliness and firmness while dealing with others. 5. Ability to progress in spite of hindrances. 6. Communicate effectively. 7. Handling emergency. 8. Confident personality. 9. Ability to make quick decisions. 10. Not just words but his action shows moral strength and ethical dealings. The second concept is being proactive. Create the opportunity for yourself and don't wait for someone to call you. The third concept is take care of employees. Going on an outing with your team, celebrating a major event at a different venue, a party or picnic reduces the stress level and also helps everyone emotionally relate with each other. Work on your people, only then your people will work for you. A CEO should be a mentor, friend, guide, teacher to all the employees. The fourth one is security above salary. People don't leave their companies, 
they leave their bosses. So the boss should be inspiring for employees. Financial security, job security, and mental security are the topmost on any employee's mind. Try to achieve family feeling in your organization. The fifth concept is service first. Emphasizes on the productivity of the employee by saying that promotion is to be considered according to the income employee brings to the organization. The sixth concept is again on people which is handling attrition. Sharakya suggests making a system that takes attrition into account from day one. The head of the project or department is a key person. The organization is highly dependent on this person. Sharakya suggests reversing this dependency split the responsibility. If you require one head, have three heads instead. The reason. If one person leaves, there are still two more to look after things. The work continues without a break as others take over. So prepare all the three heads with equal training and trust. The seventh concept is taking care of the treasury. Controlling the cash outflow is possible only if one plans in advance. Network in financial crises, friend circle and network of goodwill helps a lot. Be proactive in creating a good friend circle. 8 is pay taxes. It is the duty of the citizen to pay taxes and that of leaders to use the taxes for nation building. A recent survey showed that over 70% employees pay their entire salary of March as taxes. This is only because they postpone the essentials. Plan your investments and pay taxes in advance. Ninth point is need and greed. While buying things, ask yourself, is it my need or greed? If you want to buy a good pair of shoes buy them. But if you are buying three pair of shoes because of a discount, that is greed. Be careful with a credit card. Buy now, spend later philosophy can be dangerous unless you pay your bills on time. The tenth concept is dirty money. Dirty money is not black money. The word dirty is used to describe money that is used by antisocial elements as terrorists and mafias. If we allow the use of dirty money in the mainstream economy, it will have very bad implications. So, make sure antisocial people are not dealt with and not supported. Next is inner wealth. Wealth is not only what is with you but also what is in you. It is largely misunderstood that wealth is what is around you. Your car, your house, and other possessions do not constitute real wealth. They are the byproducts of your inner wealth. The inner wealth of knowledge, experience, and wisdom is your true wealth. Only continuous empowerment with knowledge helps wealth flow to you. Next again on money which, money for more money. The objective of a leader of an organization is to create, expand, protect and enjoy wealth. Sharakya says that the leader or CEO should not be satisfied with what he has got. He should constantly think about how to expand his territories and reach new markets. Sharakya says to the king of a state that in the first part of the day, devote your attention to the treasury. Only then look into other affairs. To the CEO, once you enter the office, take a review of the financials first. The thirteenth concept is effective meetings. For a meeting to be effective, we should have a specific agenda. And like a good television talk show anchor, give direction to the discussion, when the answers to any question go off track, or if the person being questioned is talking too much, cut him off diplomatically and move to the next question. When a meeting comes to an end, take a decision, make an action plan and execute them. Next is on travel and is planning a business trip. Exploring new opportunities, reaching new investors, seeking joint ventures are common. It is very exciting to close the deal in the very first meeting. But do not close deals immediately. Resist the temptation. 
all that glitters is not gold. The first impression need not be lasting impression. Come back home, with the cool mind study all important areas and with the help of experts take the next step. Before taking on any new project, always complete the previous work that have been undertaken. Fifteenth one is a theory of summer. Dhamma. Donda. Bida which are in Sanskrit. In the Artha Shastra, Sharakya talks about theories of summer, discussions, Dhamma, offering rewards, Donda, punishments, and Bida, creating splits. You can use these methods, as the situation demands, to achieve your goal. The sixteenth concept is on teamwork. The most successful companies and groups have one thing in common the ability to ignore individual differences and work as a team. Next is principles of management. The best manager is the one who not only takes a project given by his boss instead creates projects on his own. And, next concept is managing multiple projects. Bring the commencement of what is not done, carrying out what has commenced, improvement of what has been carried out and effective delegation of work. One successful CEO who always seems relaxed, was asked the secret of his cool temperament. He said, immediate decisions, faith in people whom I have given work. The 19th concept is organizational planning. A good plan consists of a mix of long-term and short-term plans. One may work throughout the year, but it's important to rest from time to time so that we can work more effectively. Last but most important concept is time management. Being mindful of what we have to do is the biggest tip for managing time well. One should be aware of one's responsibilities and being in control of them. Make a list of the roles that you play department head, team leader, project in charge, parent, child, etc. Then, under each role, write your responsibilities and prioritize them. With this, we come to an end of the book summary Corporate Sharakya. Thank you for watching Corporate Sharak Your Summary in 15 Minutes Inspirations. Please click the like button, bell icon and subscribe to our channel. Learn and grow with us.